Hello Math 130 students. Um, we are going to pick up on page 1, section 3.1. Solving systems of linear equations by the graphing method. So we have a definition. When two or more linear equations are considered simultaneously, the equations are called A, and what you say is that they are called a system. So when you're dealing with two or more equations, there are three different things that you can happen. Either one, there's no solution, meaning that, that there is no intersection. One solution, meaning there's only one point, the intersection is going to be the solution, and it's independent and consistent. And then that last one, we're going to have infinite solutions. So this line, you actually have two lines on top of each other. So it's actually the same line. So it's dependent, since the lines depend on one another, since they're exactly the same, but it's also consistent because it had a solution. For the graphs below, um, we want to answer the following. Are, is there a solution? Is it consistent or inconsistent? Is it dependent or independent? For example, let's graph each equation individually here. So for our first equation, we have y is equal to 3x plus 3. I see that my y-intercept is 0, 3. That is my b value. And my slope, n, is equal to my 3 over 1, which means up 3 to the right 1. Or I can go left 3 and down 1. So at 0, 3, that's going to be my first point. Then I'm going to go up 3 and to the right 1. Or if I've gone down 3, and to the left 1. I have my line that looks something like this. Now, for my second equation, I have y is equal to negative 3x plus 3. So now y intercept is 0, 3 again. That's my b value. And here's my slope. My slope is now a negative 3 over 1, which tells me down 3, right 1, or up 3. Up 0, 3, so it's the same as it was on my right foot. I'm going to go up 3 and to the left 1. Or I can go down 3 and to the right 1. So then my line looks like this. So I can definitely see that there's going to be a solution. It's where they intersect. That point is going to be 0, 3. The y-intercept is the solution. So, I would say that for part A, right, graph both equations. Is there a solution? Yeah. The solution is a point of intersection, which is 0, 3. Now, for my part B, is it consistent or inconsistent? Well, since I had a solution, it's going to be For part C, is it dependent or independent? Well, since there's two different lines that um, I can see, then it's going to be independent. Okay. So those are going to be my three solutions to this problem. So for number two, I want to do the exact same thing. So for here, let's look at this equation. So the first equation I have y is equal to negative x. Cancel on that side, and I have a negative 4y equal to a 
notice how this is an X? So that should have been an X. There we go. So I have a negative 1 X and it's going to be a minus a 4. So my Y intercept is also 0, negative 4 and my slope is negative 1 over 1. So really I can see that this green equation and this blue equation are exactly the same. It has the same y-intercept and the same slope. So really, this is going to be two equations on top of each other. So for this one, since the question was asking me, is there a solution? Well, yeah, if I draw that other line, my points are all going to be on top of it. So really, that second, oops, that second line, I'll make that a little bit nicer, there we go. That second line is going to be directly on top of the other one. And so since it's directly on top, the solution I'm going to have infinite solutions. For part B, um, is it consistent or inconsistent? It's consistent. And for part C, if it's dependent or independent, well, since it's the same line on top of each other, they are dependent. So this is a dependent system. So those are going to be my answers. Now, let's take a look at um, number three. So for this one, I'm going to look at that first equation. That first equation is 10x minus 2y is equal to a negative 10. So I'm going to a minus a 10x on both sides. So I get a negative 2y is equal to a negative 10x minus 10. So I'm going to divide by negative 2 on both sides. So y is equal to a 5x plus 5. So here I can tell you that my y intercept is 0, 5, and that my slope is a 5 over 1. So I go up 5 into the right one, or down 5 into the left one. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this graph. So I have my y intercept at 0, 5. I'm going to go up 5 into the right one. Or I can go down 5 into the left one. So that's going to be my slope. Now I'm going to look at my second equation. I have enough room. So for my second equation, I have y is equal to a 5x plus 1. So then my y intercept is going to be a 0, comma 1. And my slope is 5 over 1. So I'm going to go up 5, the right one, or down 5, left one. Then this is 
system is independent. And so these are going to be my three answers for this problem. Okay, and that is the end of section 3.1. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to email me.